Let's start with the sorbet today. A cherry almond nice cream. Now we call it a nice cream because it doesn't have any dairy and therefore it's nice for your stomach. So I've got the frozen cherries here, I've got some frozen bananas and I'm going to mix it up, a bit of flavour here. We're going to put some flaked almonds, some coconut yoghurt to make it a little bit more creamier and we've got some maple syrup for some sweetness. So I'll show you how we're going to do it. Now in the juicer we've got the blank sorbet strainer put in. So we remove the juice strainer, we put the blank sorbet strainer in. The press sits into the middle and then the lid locks in place. I'll grab a bowl. Now the juice is a cold press juicer so that press is just going to squeeze and press all the ingredients. If I'm just putting the ingredients in one by one, it will just squeeze the cherries, then it's going to squeeze the banana. So I want all the flavour to be mixed up. So I'm going to do a little bit of preparation before we make this recipe. So just break up your banana, chuck that in your bowl. Put the flaked almonds in there. Got some coconut yoghurt here. Remember we're making a, a nice cream, so there's no dairy and we've got the maple syrup there as well. Beautiful. So now what we want to do is just give that a nice mix around. I'll move this out of your way so you can have a good look at it. And just give that a nice mix. Combining all the ingredients together. Okay, turn the juicer on. Now the EVO 810 has the flip gate lid, so the self-feeding mechanism. All we need to do is open the lid and then I can use my ladle, my spoon, to feed the ingredients into the machine. A bit of banana, a little bit of cherry, I'll open the cap, Whoop. the cap is removable so you can give it a, a, a clean, um, it has a silicon seal on the front there, so we'll just put that back on and it just squeezes into place. So you can see straight away how it's squeezing and pressing the frozen ingredients. and got this beautiful ice cream coming out. So don't rush it, just take your time, allow the juicer to squeeze and press the ingredients. Got one more there. Now you're going to just let it run for uh, 30 seconds or so to get all that extra um, ice cream coming out. You can eat it straight away, you can serve it straight away or if you like, if you're making it ahead of time, you want to pop it into a container, put it into the freezer and then bring it out five minutes before you want to serve that um, ice cream. So let's just turn that off there. You can see how much we've made just from a cup of frozen cherries, a cup of frozen cherries, uh, one banana and it makes quite a good size serve. Let's do the taste test, we've got a spoon here. You can see, if you can see on that camera there, when you're making it in a cold press juicer, it comes out um, you can see all the little individual bits, so you get a little bit of the um, almond, you get a little bit of the cherry and you get that ice cream from the banana. Let's give it a taste test. Mm. What a great combination of flavours. 
and that little bit of coconut flavour that's coming through and that creaminess of the yogurt. Really like this one. And you know you can you can mix it up yourself a little bit at home. Whatever frozen ingredients that you've got, if you've got frozen berries or um, frozen mango, when you're making and putting your ice cream together with the bananas, try and add a few little different things into your recipes and see how it comes out. This one was really good.